since working with Dylan from 2006, 2007 and our first exhibitions, we then got to visit Chateau Lacoste and saw this most incredible architecture and sculpture park, perhaps one of the, the best in the world. Dylan was asked if he would create a, a sculpture, an installation that would match the world's greatest artists on this site. And this is four and a half years, four and a half years project that Dylan has created this train car. Dylan lived in Hibbing, Minnesota. He was surrounded by rail cars and of course the ironworks and he said you could smell it and taste it. What well, two words, speechless and thoughtless. You come in to contact with a work of art and here it's much more than a work of art, it's a work of art, it's a work of architecture, it's, it rhymes, it echoes, it, it's in conversation with Richard Rogers, with Tada Oando, with, with, with nature. Look, look at this, the, the sun filtering through the trees, the foliage, these hundred uh, secular trees and then that being filtered by, uh, uh, by Dylan himself. It's, it's uh, transcendent is a, is a word that I would use. And this very uh, spiritual installation that you can stand in and it's a con contemplative space. The idea of, of Dylan using these physical tangible ob objects and meshing them together, welding them together to make these panels that make up the car and the roof allows the elements to come in and out. So whatever the time of day, you're seeing the interplay of shadows from nature itself. We're standing here listening to the bird song. We're, whatever the time of day, this morning, the mists grew up. And there is this unbelievable sense, this lyrical sense of what Dylan is trying to create. And the culmination is the largest ever installation that he's created here at Chateau Lacoste. 